Hi everyone, Bernard here on behalf of MovieGameNostalgia.com. Hope you're all well and uh, keeping safe. Right, this is uh, a look at um, a new Amazon Prime TV series, drama series, science fiction, Upload. Um, quite an interesting, it's created by Greg Daniels, who obviously is responsible for Parks and Recreation, which was one of my favourite comedies, and I absolutely loved Parks and Recreation, a fantastic it's one of these where it's a 30 minute thing obviously about 23 minutes when you take out the ad breaks if you if you watch it on tv obviously if you watch it on this on amazon prime there's no ad break so you're about 23 24 minute episodes so yeah i mean this is uh, i look forward to this because because of, of obviously greg daniels and uh, the great news is it will be back for a second season as well so this is a look at season one anyway of um, upload from amazon prime if you're new to the channel please push your subscribe button that'd be great push the bell notification so you know when these little specials are coming out and reviews on tv dramas and films etc etc are coming out and please thumbs ups are always nice views are great but thumbs ups are always nice and push that bell notification so you know and make sure that's a public as well because um, make sure your notifications set to public not private otherwise otherwise you won't get them right so what have we got here well we've got a satire haven't we, we got a, a science fiction satire uh, it's 2033 of course it is we'll soon be there hopefully i'll still be with you and we'll all you watching will still be with us uh humans can upload to a virtual afterlife i must admit i, I did, it did, did appeal to me this i'm not a religious person of any sort and obviously you do you do worry about well, not worry but you do think about things obviously you're getting older like myself i'm 61 this year so uh, this this virtual afterlife seemed uh, seemed excellent you know seemed an excellent idea to me uh, and a guy called Nathan is uploaded. Uh, he's not a young lad. He obviously gets involved in an accident. He's uploaded to Lake View, which is one of these uh, classy areas. You know, there's different competition, obviously, with these places, but that's the sort of area. This is the sort of virtual reality everyone wants to be uploaded to Lake View. And his girlfriend is actually paying for the privilege. And obviously, he's it, obviously being in in the in the hands of his girlfriend is it's sort of his afterlife is being run by his girlfriend isn't it unfortunately so uh, but obviously this this accident perhaps isn't all it seems to be so that's what it's based on anyway this is this is the thing and say it's only it's actually 10 episodes uh it's got robbie amel as nathan stars as nathan who got um they, they have little handlers that which are called angels who look after the characters in the afterlife and andy Lo is uh, is nora who's obviously nathan's handler and allegra edwards plays nathan's girlfriend excellent cast great cast i mean some some really good uh, actors in this it was filmed between march and may in may uh, last year in uh, canada 2019 so is it any good well yeah i mean rotten tomatoes are giving it an approval rating a positive rating of 81 percent approval rating that's based on 34 reviews and it does have a 6.75 out of 10 overall rating which, which isn't bad and it, the quote is an afterlife worth living which i can't disagree with uh, the meta score the critics said uh, 6.8 out of 10 so again similar sort of figure and um, that's based on 17 critics joe public like it i mean they've the uh, internet movie database rating is 8.2 out of 10 which is really high and it's really good i mean i do love i mean i do love greg daniels with the parts and recreation i'm not, I'm not going to say i love this as much as that but it's, then again i want to sort of binge watch parts and recreation watch series after series so that was probably it sort of got better and better as it went along and obviously yeah i did like i did really like this series one or season one sorry of this uh, upload it did appeal to me it's got uh, obviously there's a lot of connections with other things i mean you've had things like six feet under glitch uh i zombie and something called russian doll which i've not seen before people are sort of comparing it on that genre you know that sort of film but more like obviously the very recent the good place which i have watched and, and sort of watched a couple of series of that which i quite enjoyed the good place uh, it did sort of get a little bit tired in parts but uh, i did like the good place and it's that sort of thing if you like if you do like the good place and the, the other things i've mentioned then you probably will like this but especially if you like the writing of greg daniels i think you'll like this as well as i said the great the characters are great there's some likable characters in it there's some not so much unlikable characters it's not too bad but it's um it's just it's just great it's well acted it's well put together it looks lovely it looks fantastic i mean it, it's great to watch um, obviously a little bit of money spent a couple of things that are like cgi's are not quite 
fantastic, but that's probably par for the course. But there's, it has plenty of humour. It's it's quite light, but there is a as it progresses, there is a, a serious side to it, which obviously is really you know adds adds to it. Um, the episode length, twenty three minutes, feels about right. Yeah, I mean it's not. It, it, doesn't seem like 23 minutes when you're watching one it does seem a little bit longer actually not not because it's boring in any way but because i just quite enjoy it and it, it just seems to seems to be more than 23 minutes when i'm watching each episode but uh, yeah it's just about right and the only negative perhaps is because we know there's a series two we we were left with a bit of a a bit of a cliffhanger a bit of a not the greatest ending to a series obviously after watching 10 episodes but uh, obviously it can be forgiven a little bit because we obviously they have penciled in a season two but a series season two so you can quite understand perhaps why they they left us on not not mm, satisfied but not overly satisfied that's that's the thing i mean i always think something should be finished because at any end, end of the day whether it's a film or a or a, a series like this you, you don't need you don't need to leave things open i mean you can leave certain things open but you can come to you can come to a conclusion and then go from there it doesn't really make any difference so yeah a little bit of a cop out for me when they do things like this but that's just my personal opinion anyway an mgn rating yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna be similar i mean obviously uh, rotten tomatoes was what 6.75 uh, Metascore was 6.8 but the Internet Movie Database Joe Public was 8.2 I'm not going to go any higher as that I'm going to give it a 6.5 but it's got a chance to grow better than a 6.5 but, I, but I'll, I'll be more with the critics I'll be more with the 6.5 out of 10 so I'll be a bit a bit meaner but as I said I think it can perhaps grow a little bit more on me anyway let me know what you think if you get to watch this upload I can heartily recommend it and as I say it's uh, it's not a new genre it's not a new style you know we've seen it before but it's very very well done as I say, it's quite light and funny, but it does have a dark side, which is nice. I like, I like that element of it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you get to watch it. Please follow me on Twitter for all the latest movie and TV drama news. Uh, at Nostalgia underscore movie. Uh, that's mainly film stuff, but obviously um, I'm also on at Charles Deneen, which is mainly the football stuff, if you know I do my little football things for Manchester City. So you can follow me on either. And, you know, I do do connect the two at times, but I do try to keep the at Nostalgia underscore movie more in, more in line with the movie and uh, TV stuff. And I'm on Facebook at Vern Deneen with links to moviegamenostalgia.com, my little website for old and rare DVDs movie posters from the 1990s and 2000s and board games some retro board games some, some of the older board games and a, a quite a mix of board games from parkers waddingtons mb games etc etc so please if you can have a look on moviegamenostalgia.com for a couple of minutes just get on there and have a look around much appreciated anyway thanks for watching us today uh, hopefully you'll join me again for something similar very very soon whatever you're going to do the rest of the day have a great one look after yourself look after your friends especially look after your families and let's all look after each other. This is Burn saying goodbye for now. I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching.